Welcome back to week 27 of my 52 frames challenge. This week I'll be taking a photo drive. That's right, I'll be taking a photo out of a moving vehicle. No, luckily I won't be driving. I got my husband to do that. But yes, join me to see what I came up with. This week's challenge was all about a compositional tool, the triangular composition. It basically means that you place objects in three different parts so that your eye creates a triangle. I went back to some of my old photos to see if I could find any triangles in them. one for me to see the triangles was the leading lines since naturally the compo this composition didn't come very natural to me so I wanted to take it outside but I didn't feel like facing the heat thus I decided on the next best thing take a photo drive in the comfort of our air-conditioned car during a drive earlier in the day I came up with the idea and tested out my proof of concept with my phone. I turned on the live photo feature and then created a long exposure from that photo. And the results were pretty cool. But now I wanted to take it a bit further. I wanted to incorporate Dubai's city lights as well as use my camera to create these photos. Okay, so since it's quite hot outside and I didn't want to shoot anything indoors again, I thought instead of going for a photo walk, we'll go for a photo drive. So I've got my Uber driver assisting me here uh, tonight and the idea is to get light painting with all the city lights creating uh, streaks which will create the triangular compositions. So we tried the neighborhood first, but there's just not enough light and point of interest. So I would like to try two other things, and that is the skyline. So we're going to shoot side now to see if we can capture that. And then on our way back, we'll drive through airport tunnel and to see if we can get uh, um, light streaks from the tunnel lights and see how that pans out. Okay, so I've used my kit lens because it's quite versatile, 24 which is quite wide and even uh, up to 105 mil so that I can zoom over the bonnet which can be in my shot. Then I um, rely heavily on the image stabilization in the camera and then my arms. So I kept my arms as loose as possible so that I can create like a gimbal in my arms as much as possible. Lastly, I've got two angles that I wanted to try, either straight on or a bit to the side. And from what I saw thus far, it looked like the bit from the side was better as the lines would come out of the corners, creating those triangle uh, lines and composition. I would also like to add that a lot of the shots uh, are heavy dependent on the road quality. 
goes where, especially on bridges and stuff, where there are a lot of bumps, but you would see, I will show you a few photos, um, it would go like that and the trails won't be smooth. But luckily the bus got some really high quality roads and especially on straights and freeways, I hope that I did manage to get the shot that I um, would set out for. Okay, so we're almost home now. Thank you for bringing me. I appreciate it. It was actually a quite fun drive. Not too many idiots on the road, but I'll bleep out all my husband's cursing um, when I edit the video. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching and see you again. I initially thought. Maybe because I am a bit lazy, it was quite fun just sitting in the car taking photos as we drive along. I would like to make a side note and say thank you to Tarsius who stuck with me, drove a little bit faster, no a little bit slower. Whoa, be careful in Dubai's traffic for me to get this photo. And I'm fairly happy with the photo I got and think it's a unique perspective of the famous Sheikh Zayed um, roads. But next, it's another two housebound challenges, where I will play with a spoon, egg and fire. Join me then and thank you for watching. <laughs>